There's a little known fruit that can make waves in a big way. If only Megan could get the word out about them. They're bursting with flavor. They look like peppers, but they're actually micro citrus and they're called finger limes. So Megan, these trees are very cool and very unique. They're finger limes. I've never heard of that before. Right, these are finger lime trees. They were originally grown in Australia. They donated a tree to a university in California. They wow. propagated the tree and my dad was able to find these and he was so taken by these trees, this piece of fruit that he planted thousands of trees. These are really special trees because there's a thorn for every leaf. So Oof. our pickers have to wear leather gloves and leather sleeves that go all the way up their arm, reach in and grab the ripe ones. So they're all hand-picked then. Right. And I know the labor costs, we've talked about this, like throughout the state of California, it's, it's hard, it's expensive. Um, is it even more challenging with a crop like this? Definitely more challenging. We used to pick these ourselves and then we started getting big, bigger orders. So we oh. asked the labor crews that we use to pick avocados to come over here and pick finger limes. And they actually charge us more to pick the finger limes because they're that much harder to pick. So the costs end up adding up at the end and make it kind of an expensive piece of fruit to sell. When do you know that they're ready to be harvested? We like to harvest them when the ends are kind of rounded out and they're more plump versus like really tight and skinny. Looking at them right now, they look like chilies almost to right. me. These are funky little finger limes. It's not technically related to a lime. It's in its own category called a micro citrus. But what you do is you break it right in half and then okay. squeeze. It's filled with these little pearls of lime juice. It's so beautiful. It's like caviar. Right. Learning about finger limes is crazy because it truly does look like caviar. The story behind how they got all the trees on their farm and how it's still such a unique crop. I really hope this takes off for Megan because she is super passionate about it. And I do think everyone should try it. It's so yummy. Mm.